Another advantage of the Elko drive system is its ease of assembly. We're going to uh, take the components and spread them out so you can identify them, see what they are, how they go together, and how you can have the system running in a matter of minutes from package to completion. Removing the crate cover, you'll find the motor and several small boxes and packages. You'll see the N-Gage 7 or the N-Gage 4. This unit is equipped with an N-Gage 4. You'll see the power on LED, the power boost button, the ignition switch, the variable speed controller, and the 15-foot pre-wired harness. This is where Elko makes your work easy. All wiring harnesses come fully pre-assembled with plugs on both ends. There's no need to cut, strip, solder, or crimp. It's already done at the factory. You need only to match the plugs with the receptacles and plug together. Your Elko drive will need a battery array for power. With batteries properly configured, you simply plug the system together. Plug the color-coded connectors from the 15-foot harness into the variable speed controller, the ignition key switch, the power on and power boost buttons, and then the end gauge unit. With the ignition key in the off position and the speed controller in the center off position, plug the harness connector on the motor. That's it, you're all hooked up. Make sure your drive unit's shaft is clear before switching the key to on. Pull the speed controller neutral lock knob up and push forward gently. Before installing these components in your boat, take a moment to enjoy the quiet, vibration-free, and exhaust-free running of your Elko drive. In the next video, we'll give you some tips on installing the system in your boat.